Hello and welcome. I want to thank you all for taking the time to view my video today. The topic is using ITX Design Studio as a general purpose database tool. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter at Paul Brett IBM. OK, so let's get on with the demonstration. So you've got the Design Studio and you're on a system that doesn't have any other uh, ODBC or interactive uh, way of communicating with the database um, and you want to do some quick and dirty testing. So here's a way where you can use the Design Studio as a, data, a general purpose uh, database manipulation tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new extender project called Project 1. OK, this is completely empty bar for one file that I created earlier called execute.cmd and uh, we'll come back to that later. But for now, let's start creating some other objects. So I'm going to start with a new type tree. I'm going to call that type tree generic.mtt and I'm going to place it in project one and I'm going to add a single object to the type tree called text item. I need to change from category to item and confirm and then I will analyze the structure and logic of the tree which is good and save and close. So that's the type tree. That's uh, The next thing we need to build is uh, create is a map. So we'll create a map source file. We'll call this odbc tool.mms and place it in project one. And in there, we will create a new map called ODBC tool. OK, let's create some cards. First input card, we will call SQL statement. And it is going to read a file called SQL statement.txt. The type tree we shall use is going to be the generic. And the object we're going to pick is the text item that we created earlier. OK, that's our first input card. Let's create another one by copying this one. We'll call this new one um, uh, db uh, no, no, connect string and it's an input card and connect string is going to read a file called connect string.txt. Okay and let's create a final card with a copy. This one's going to be an output card. We're going to call it output very original and it's going to write to a file called you guessed it output.txt okay so the uh, cards are all created let's get a rule going here I'm going to use the db query function and into that db query function we're going to pass in the SQL statement and the connect string save and build that map so that's my map complete uh, ready for my general purpose usage. I'm going to leave that on screen for a moment and create the additional files we need. So first thing, let's create, right click here, choose new file, we're going to create sqlstatement.txt. We'll come back to that one in a moment. We'll tr create a new file called connectstring.txt. We'll complete this one first. So, dash db type, um, we're going to use ODBC today, dash connect, here's one I prepared earlier, username Scott, password is tiger, and I want a trace file. Okay, so that connect string is complete, so I'm going to save and close that file. SQL statement, I'm going to do um, select star from test1. I know this um, object doesn't exist, but that I want to create a failure on purpose. So let's just drag that down there for the moment, so we have both of them on screen at the same time. Um, really wanted them the other way around, but I don't suppose it matters. Okay, so select star from test1. Um, let's run this map, click on the map window and click run. That completed successfully and a couple of files have been created that I want to look at. One of them is the database trace file which we shall just drag over to here. 
to share the screen. And the second file is output.txt, which is blank. Okay, it's blank because there's a slight error in the um, in my uh, in in the SQL statement because the as I said the table doesn't exist. And if we look at the trace file, it tells us that the file doesn't exist. So this file is blank. Okay, so now we're all completely set up to use the Design Studio as a general purpose SQL tool. All we need to do is go in and change the SQL statement. Select start from test two. I know this table does exist. So if I save, click on the map, click on run, click on cancel, both of these windows automatically update. The trace file, not very interesting if I've got results. Uh, the results window is what I want to see. But we, can, we don't uh, just need to use it for selecting data from a database. We can also, also use it for creating objects. Create table test one. A couple of columns, name, var, char, 30 characters, age, integer. Okay, so this SQL statement will create a table called test1 for me. I can click on the map and I can click on run on the toolbar and both these windows update. The trace is interesting because it tells me that the statement succeeded. The output window not so much because it's completely blank. That's fine, that's exactly what we expected. Okay, so let's change the SQL statement again to insert some data. Insert into test one values pool, comma 49. Okay, so this SQL statement, I save the file. I'm not going to click on the map and click on build on the toolbar again. I'm going to use this execute instead, which is a bit quicker because it's always on the screen and you just double click it and it runs. The only downside is that these windows don't automatically update. They will only update when I click into them and it says that they've changed and do you want to update? So I click yes. And this screen shows blank. Click in there and yes to update. This screen shows that I made a mistake. Oh, I've put the word value instead of values. So let me uh, amend that, change that, S, save the file, execute back in the trace file uh, we can see um, uh, zero bytes were retrieved but the record was inserted. If we now change our SQL statement to select start from test one, save, execute, click in the output window and say yes to update, we can see that the values are being retrieved. So there we have it, using the ITX10 Design Studio as a makeshift, quick and dirty ODBC tool, or in fact any database uh, that you have the drivers for, um, to, uh, to negate the need to have a third party ODBC tool um, or, or go into the uh, database native um, GUI. You can do everything within the Design Studio if required. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Thank you. I want to thank you again for taking the time to view my video today. I hope you found it both interesting and informative. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter at Paul Brett IBM. Thank you. Have a good day.